G'day folks. There are some dangerous marine critters that divers can easily hurt themselves on if they don't know what to look for. In this episode, we will tackle three families of fish that are often hard to spot and very hurty to touch. The three groups are often confused, so I've lumped them all together here. The scorpion fish, the stonefish, and the wasp fish. There are over 300 species in these combined groups, but they loosely fall into three camouflage categories. Some members look like a leaf and flop back and forth with the surge. Most look like rocks or rubble. And some are fancy and have branched tentacles and ciri on their heads and bodies to help them blend in with feather stars and other things. What they most importantly all have in common are razor sharp venomous spines, which can be easily injected into our soft skin by accidentally standing or kneeling on them or putting a supporting hand on them. The effects of the venom range from irritating to potentially deadly. Most of these guys are very well camouflaged and spend most of their time laying motionless waiting for prey to ambush with lightning speed. Aww. They can change colour to suit whatever background they find themselves on. Watch this scorpion fish change. If we speed up the clip and scrub it back and forth you can see it more clearly. Inimicus, which are given the unfortunate common names of demon stinger or bearded ghoul, bury themselves to the eyeballs, which is why I knelt on one once. I can vouch for the pain intensity some species have brightly coloured fins which they flash if startled, but otherwise they're hard to spot. Often their eyes give them away. Some species have these iris lappets which break that perfect circle. The most obvious and beautiful are the lionfish. You'd think these guys would be easy to spot, but did you notice this guy hanging vertically on the wall? They are more active hunters and use their beautiful big pectoral fins to corral their prey to within striking distance. Aww. Aww. The Rhinopius group are also quite beautiful and they come in bright reds and hot pink among other colours, but you can only see that when you shine bright lights on them. In natural light, they are grey purple or brown and blend in perfectly with the algae that surrounds them. Sadly, most members of these groups are pretty far from pretty. Most members of these groups can swim fast if they want to, but mostly they choose not to. They'd rather walk or crawl or flop around. Don't try this at home, boys and girls, but this poor stonefish has fishing line wrapped around that venomous dorsal spine. Yeah, look at him go. But don't worry about this guy, he's free now to ambush the next small fish that gets too close. In fairness, I should point out that these guys only use their venom for self-defense. They would never deliberately sting a person. It's only through our own carelessness that we can impale ourselves on them. So keep your eyes peeled and be careful down there. Now you know what you're looking for, we'll get into the challenge. Each level will begin with 10 seconds to spot them as you come across them on a dive, followed by a couple of closer and more obvious shots to show you more detail and maybe what you couldn't find in the harder levels. So good luck and don't forget there might be more than one fish on some levels. Thank you. 
Well, you've made it this far, so as promised, here is my pro tip cheat for finding these hidden critters. Look for prey species acting strange. All of these stripies can see this stonefish, so look where they're looking. Likewise, this crested morwong is showing this half-buried stonefish that it knows, and in turn, it's showing me the danger. Very helpful when removing fishing line from rocks covered in these potentially deadly but super cool critters. If you'd like more of this sort of content, be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe for more critter finding and filming tips. I'm Josh from Undersea Productions, thanks for watching.